Let's start this show off with a cotton candy margarita. Oh, my God. Ooh. And the rest is for me. Thanks for joining us. We're on location today, aren't we? Yes, and if you can't guess, we're at a Mexican restaurant, the Mexican restaurant in the Valley of Cunningham, Pennsylvania. We're at the Brass Buckle, commonly known as the Buckle. The Buckle, right. One and buckle. we'll talk later with the owner. They're not just about. Mexican food, they have all types of food here. So if Mexican isn't your thing, which I don't know how it couldn't be, but if it's not your thing, they do have other food here too. Yeah, but it's all Festivus. And now tell me about this. Look, look at This is, they like to do original um, drinks here. And this is called a cotton candy margarita. You're probably gonna have a sugar rush just on that, right? <laughs> wow. It's literally the cotton candy. In the I got all alcohol. Stuff. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. Ooh, that's yummy. It'll get It'll better as the tongue. show goes on. Yes, it will, especially if you're drinking. Yeah, because I don't normally drink. So I don't normally drink, and I don't usually eat uh, Mexican food because I have like, a lot eat. of she stuff. Just no, I eat. I just don't eat anything real spicy, but I brought a whole pack of chews with me. Oh, so there I you eat go. everything. And uh, when we're talking about, uh, we were thinking about what we wanted to talk about on today's show. We were talking about some of the uh, trips that we've gone on as a family. And I know you at home, if you reminisce about where you go on vacation and if it's the summertime here in Pennsylvania uh, during the taping of the show, it is summer. Kids are just getting out of school and looking at where they're going on vacation. And we've gone all over the world. We've gone to New Mexico. We've gone to the Bahamas. We've gone to Jamaica. I've gone to Spain. Spain. We've Italy, gone to Hawaii. France. We've gone to yeah. Italy. So we've tasted um, all kinds of foods. Yes. And the Mexican, for some reason, is always exciting because it's I can fun. remember it's always great music mm -hmm. and it's colorful and lively. And the one trip when we went to Mexico, I had fallen and broken the heel of my foot right before I was moving into the new location of my store. That was fun. So, of course, I was not canceling the trip. Forget it. Dr. Polidero was so great. He said to me, I'm not going to cast it if you promise to be really good. I said, well, I'll be off my feet because I'll be floating in the pool. So Carted Sammy, around. your brother, was so great because he would carry me when needed. And we went to this one Mexican restaurant, if you remember, there must have been a hundred steps of spiral going down That's to funny. this gorgeous view on the side of the mountain. And the guys all came up and carried me down in the wheelchair. It was unbelievable. Away. But I remember all the food, the food was so good. And you're, you're gonna hear from the owner because they, he's actually traveled uh, to different parts of the country and the world that they, he's also tasted this authentic food and has brought it right here. Um, it's a good little place to eat. And I shouldn't even say little because they offer so many oh, different things. So this big. building is, is, is really has some character and history behind it. We're actually in the ballroom area where you can have parties and stuff. Um, so we're gonna be talking with Jerry, the owner. We're on location. This is uh, one of our last shows for the season before we take a break for the summertime. Yeah, this is like a pre-vacation. All right, well, we're going to get Deb drunk, and when you come right back, <laughs> two sips. we're going to try out some of this food and talk about the brass buckle here in Cunningham Valley. Thanks for joining us. We're on location today. You're watching the girls on SSP TV, and we're talking about some quality food and having some fun, having an experience when we go out to eat or dine or just grab a drink with our girlfriends or bring our families out. We're here with Jerry Sywell. He is the owner of The Buckle, as we like to call it. It's the Breast <laughs> Buckle in Cunningham, Pennsylvania, right on the historic Main Street, but it's The Buckle. For Absolutely. Most of us. Everybody always calls it. I'm going to the buckle. There you Absolutely. go. To the buckle. <laughs> and I'm, wearing, I'm wearing one of your little souvenirs from your many trips. Absolutely. Around the world. Always need a sombrero. Keep the sun off your uh, 
face, so when you're having some margaritas, you know, you can continue to drink. Yeah, you can't tell that your eyes are closing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're teasing. If you could balance this on your head after drinking a margarita, you could have another one. Absolutely. There you go. <laughs> and get them, you know, put that on there, and if they fall over from the weight, well, you got to cut them off. Well, I like your little shirt over here. It has lettuce tempt you, and you've been tempting me ever since your chef brought these uh, tacos out. So yes. tell us a little about, about some of the traditional food that you have here. Absolutely. You know, People go to Mexico and they, they're very aware of, you know, the traditional styles of food that you see out there. And that's what we have here is your traditional um, tacos. Um, we've always seen growing up uh, as children, the traditional Tex-Mex type taco that we serve. One is chicken, soft taco, one is a hard beef taco. You know, every kid has made that at home, you know, grab the tortilla, they throw the beef, the lettuce, the salsa and the cheese and they make it. Okay, they buy that from a mix though. How is yours made? So we are actually taking real ground beef. We're actually okay. making it, and it's all fresh ingredients. Even our salsa, um, you know, we're making, you know, the tomatoes. We're dicing up all the uh, produce, and we're making everything from scratch. Even the tortillas we're making and, you know, putting in our fryer, folding them, and, you know, so that they have the perfect form so they have a way better flavor than somebody, you know, you know. Than kinda, a commercial yes. sort of like a pre-made kit type Correct. of thing. Okay. Correct. Still tricky to eat because they're a hard taco, so it's always a fun, you know, yep, one yep. to eat. Um, and then over here we have the kind of more of the traditional when you go more into Mexico, which is your corn tortillas, a little more steamed. Um, you wind up seeing the this particular one has the carnita and the uh, salsa verde, which is you know made out of uh, chilies, the onions, the cilantro, and this one over here we have the um, roasted pulled chicken, and again with the um, salsa verde and the onions and the cilantro. So two very traditional items, tacos, but very different and both can be purchased here and you know along with a good margarita like the cotton candy margarita um these are made to enjoy. order so if you're allergic to onion or you don't want the cilantro or you don't want cheese um you are good at just absolutely made to order that. we make you can everything order, from you can scratch get whatever you like here this yes. is just the basic of what is offered in other restaurants that you offer here. But Correct. later in the show, we're gonna show you more of the high-end yes. uh, recipes that you do here because you offer more than just tacos and more than just Mexican food. Correct. Okay, well, where did you get all of your cooking experience? How so, did you get started? A long time ago, um, you know, I went to culinary school, wanted to be a chef. The Mexican part, I got a lot of that and started to bring that home um, when I left for the Marines. And I was stationed out in Southern California. I spent a lot of time going back and forth into Mexico. Um, once I'd go into Mexico, there were some friends of mine who were also Hispanic that would take me into different places. And it was really neat because when I went there, I actually got to see a lot of different foods that um, I would talk to people and I'm like, oh, this isn't what I had in Mexico. And I'm like, oh, where in Mexico were you? Oh, Cancun. Cancun, you're going to get, you know, your typical American style food. But then when all of a sudden you're with a friend of yours um, and they're taking you into different places that, you know, we never really want to go to. A little hole in the wall. Absolutely. And I'm trying some of these foods and I'm like, wow, fish on a taco? And he's like, yeah, yeah you know, we're next to the ocean, you know, this is the Baja Peninsula. So all of a sudden, that was one of our first things that we started was the fish taco and then the ahi tuna taco and started to work with a lot of different foods. And that was a lot that I kind of, you know, wrote down a lot of these items. And then when I came back to the area, I started working with our executive chef, um, who's really good with um, a lot of farm to table and understanding fresh cuisine. So we started playing with a lot of those foods and kind of tweaking it and making it our own. So it's something that you've got to come here to try or you got to know the places in Mexico to go to. And the Brass Buckle has been established in the Cutting Valley how long? Well, the building has been here since 1805. Um, it was actually called the Cunningham Hotel, named after Rudman Cunningham, um, who had founded, you know, the area. Um, we have been here as the Brass Buckle since 1983, um, doing kind of very small amounts of Mexican and it's kind of grown and grown over the years and the menu has grown to different types. So, you know, and people will see that as they've been coming here from the basic taco to all of a sudden more traditional and even, you know, the, the next margaritas. taco mm -hmm. and the margaritas and 
Absolutely. And the restaurant has grown because at one time it was only at the lower level, but you had it. Yeah, we're now. upstairs. Yes. Upstairs, this gorgeous, gorgeous banquet yes. hall that's here with the view of the valley. And you put a seating area outside as well, yes. which was an addition. And it's so pretty to come down Main Street, Cunningham, see all the uh, historic homes, and then to come up across this too with the window boxes and the nice tables. Absolutely. So uh, I have to applaud you for that. You Thank really you. did a beautiful job Thank with you. that. It's a great asset to the area. Absolutely. It's, you know, and it's fun. We wanted that kind of, you know, when everybody goes to the shore, they always want to sit um, that sidewalk cafe. Yeah. Um, and that's what I was like, you know what, I want that same kind of feel that we can sit out there across the street from our part of the park. Kids are playing down at the park. You know, some of the parents sometimes are here, the kids are playing and they get to just have a good time enjoy themselves or even after baseball come over here grab an appetizer a margarita you know a couple drinks and enjoy themselves leave the cook so, into you absolutely and anything goes it's very a fun lively environment so if you have children it's it's very low key it's low stress um, they could come in they could they can order uh, you know a quesadilla and you can get something um, oh, yeah. when we're going to talk about those other entrees like the ahi tuna, ahi tuna tacos and um, some of the other uh, fish items that you have that Absolutely. you have just you're not just going to come here and say if you don't like Mexican food oh, it yeah. doesn't mean you don't have something here for them we're going to talk about that if you're looking for ideas to book a party we're going to talk about that and uh, my mom's going to finish her drink during the break when we come back we'll have you open <laughs> up the show what do you think <laughs> If I could still uh, hold the hat on my hand, you have to see. <laughs> and I'm going to hear that upright. her neck hurts. <laughs> if I'm sitting upright, I can't wait to taste the food. Stay with us. We'll be right back. It's dinner and a show today at the Buckle, at least for us it is, the yeah, Brass is. Buckle, and we're with Jerry Sewell. He is the owner of the Brass Buckle, and we're trying some of the food. We're like talking crunching. about, I know, the, these are my favorite. You have <laughs> homemade the best salsa, and please talk about the carrots that are in the salsa, because I know we've gone through this a couple of times, but you make your salsa fresh. We do, and it's funny because we get beat up about Not by me. the I love carrots it. by people who have never had the salsa. Why? And I actually had someone the one time say on a post that it was like, oh my goodness, this wasn't salsa. It's like someone took up a bunch of vegetables, cut them up and put them in a bowl. And I kind of laughed and wanted to respond yeah, and say, thank you for giving me the definition of salsa because it's exactly what it is. Um, there's pineapple salsa, there's charred pineapple salsa, there's cactus pineapple, there's, you know, regular salsa, there's just what, you know, some people are used to, which is almost tomato juice, diced onion, cilantro, I love it. a little bit of garlic, period. There's no sugar in here, it's from the carrots. And we put the carrots in there for exactly that sweetness, mm. that little bit of crunch, and not having that mm. sugar, so you're getting fresh flavor. Um, you know, and being Hazelton, you know, back in the day being, you know, you go back to some of the Italians and ask, you know, hey, how did your grandmother make oh, the marinara? Yeah. And they'll tell you, they used to dice up some carrots, they used to put yes. it there, and they used to simmer it with some of the, um, the bones and all that instead of putting sugar into You'll it. You'll love the salsa. And that's so, what I do. I do use the carrot, use absolutely. a fresh carrot. The tacos. Now, this is the more upscale. Again, you don't just sell tacos here. This is amazing. But we're going to talk about some of the specialty tacos because Correct. we have lobster, right? yes. duck, yes, and alligator. And that's, these two are new. Which one are you trying? I'm gonna which try all are, of them. All right, let's so the alligator is, is we get the alligator in, um, so we actually it. dredge it which, you know, in um, flour, our seasoning, we make a fresh remoulade with it, um, which is what it's tossed in, and then the coleslaw. So it's almost like a po' boy type taco with alligator. Um, and the alligator has a very moist type chicken flavor to it. Um, and then the this is the duck. coleslaw that's on top, oh. that is the duck. Okay, sorry. This and then the coleslaw on top is actually um, our ranch dressing tossed in with the fresh carrots and cabbage and that. So um, we actually make our cilantro from scratch. Um, the duck that you're having, we get the ducks in, we salt them. You get the ducks in? Yep. You Are know. they alive? 
over at, just go over, you know, across the street, grab Don't over the pond. Don't even joke. No, that is Thanks. a joke, everybody. That is a joke because you know someone's going to comment and tell us we're killing animals. We are joking. The, the ducks are dead when they get home. Absolutely. Um, and... Um, but we get the, the whole duck in, we make the duck, and we turn it into duck confet, which is a little bit of a salted uh, duck. Um, and then we use a cream brie uh, cheese, which is that wonderful cheese that everybody likes to kind of cut into and it melts. So we make it a little more creamier. That goes on the bottom. Fresh carrots that are on top. And the little red that kind of gives it that sweetness is actually a wild berry gastrique, okay. which is actually very healthy for you. It's a little bit of vinegar. It's uh, different types of berries that we um, simmer down. And it's actually a really great antioxidant also for you. How do you come up with these, you. these uh, mixtures? So a lot of it is trial and error. Okay. Is it's, it a little bit of like sweet to sour? Is it crunch? Is it? Yes. What is it? Everything? So He's like, yes, all of that. So, you know, th let's, let's talk about the gator because that was the, this is one that's going to be coming on the menu this weekend as a special. The gator's on um, the menu. All so right. So that one we're going. That actually started because of my wife. Oh. Um, she works for Saya uh, Trucking and went down to her headquarters um, down in Louisiana. So she was down in New Orleans and she sends me this picture and goes, oh my gosh, I've never tried alligator, but they were telling me I gotta try it. I tried it, it's amazing. So- That is good. She started telling me, you know, this sauce that they had and I thought, wow, that would make a great taco. So after her telling me about her experience with these gator bites that she had down there, we played with it and played with it until finally we came up with this po' boy um, alligator remoulade taco to kind of, you know, be another unique, different You nailed it. So taco. alligators on the menu, ducks on the menu, lobster. <laughs> Lobster's okay. going on the menu as well. So okay. we're going to be working. We're going to be working on that one. So that is mm -hmm. Boston bib and then it's a little bit of mayo. It's a um, butter poached um, lobster with a little bit of um, Tarragon. Tarragon, thank you. I think I remember it. <laughs> a little bit of cilantro. It's very good. So it's kind of got that. <laughs> she means when you kind of go up to. I'm holding it for you. Um, okay. When you kind of head up there, you, everybody's always talking about these um, lobster rolls. Yes. Yeah. So again, kind of playing with the, Got it. you know, different areas and turning them into tacos. So you don't only have tacos. Talk about some of. Um, the other uh, Rough scale dining. Yeah, the other items that you have, and then I want to hit on the you know, about three minutes, so we'll talk about the catering sure. and stuff. So we have a fantastic menu. We're always changing it. We're always looking for things. We have sea bass paella that we have. We get a great sea bass in. We have, um, you know, that's going over a, a beautiful risotto paella with, you know, the shrimp it's got the clams so that's you know a nice higher end we have this amazing tequila glazed steak we have a we get our ribeyes in we cut them down we break them down and you know so we're grilling them to uh you know uh, scratch from scratch and having this tequila glaze that we make which you know is phenomenal and we dredge you know we first we cook that ribeye we put it in there and that's served with a little bit of um shrimp and a uh, pasta dish so we have Burgers. We've got a couple of American dishes out there as well on our menu, even a chicken franchise. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, yes, we are Mexican, mm -hmm. but you know, one of our things that we always push is more than Mexican because we do have a lot of people. We are in the United States. Not everybody likes ethnic food. Okay. So for those people who maybe are going to come here and say, you know what, I want Mexican. And maybe the husband or wife is like, oh, I don't like that. Or the kids. Or the kids. The kids want French fries or mac and cheese. Oh, they want they get cheese yep. we've got yeah. cheese fingers. quesadillas. Yeah. We've got sliders for the little ones, spaghetti. We've got chicken nuggets. Yeah, Cannot so you got forget all. the chicken nuggets. My Always. daughter would you know, kill me you, if you I took them off the yourself. menu. Well, I was tempted just coming in because you mentioned about grilling and you could smell all the grilled food mm -hmm. as you're coming in. Yes. Now you can have parties here foods. too, mm -hmm. uh, just so we can fit that on. You have, you cater, you have uh, parties here, you do nonprofit. Profits, yes. um, fundraisers. We as do well. lots of different things. So, you know, I'm originally, you know, from this area. So you're so, a total part of the community. You live here, absolutely. you give back here, you've been Mark established here, here yeah. and yep. you've been feeding us for how many <laughs> how many generations now? It's absolutely. Wonderful. I know and, the kids love coming here. Uh, oh, and you know what? We we've seen kids grow up. We've seen kids get engaged and have engagement parties here. We just have a wedding for um, 115 people, for kids that were kids coming here, eating 
cheese quesadillas who now got engaged here, now getting married here. So. All right, so if you don't know what you're missing, get yourself down to it's Main Street fun. in Cunningham. It's a nice experience, Come too. Come down to the buckle and... Um, we have some food to finish, but the, the show Absolutely. is over. Yeah, Janine's getting ready to <laughs> dig in here, so I guess I have to say a quick goodbye, and thank you so much for having you're us. Thank you We can't so wait much. to dig into the food here, and uh, hopefully and always, we'll be seeing you more often. You can often. always go on our Facebook also and find more information about us he there as well. We put some funny posts up. So. It's funny. Oh, yeah. Try to keep it live. Well, you're a great you know, guy. I fun, enjoyed so, meeting you. you know. <laughs> Thank you. Guy. We'll Thank see you, you later, alligator. <laughs> After, After a while, crocodile. <laughs> Bye. Bye.